Skid, guys. Before I start this off, um, the insult that Onkumu has received is unacceptable. I will not stand the insults Onkumu has received. It stops now. Bow down to the goats. Don't insult him. Have some respect. With that being said, Onkumu, if you don't play Antonio Martial as a striker, I will slap you twice and call you Jiminy Cricket. Sorry for that rant. Um, so, again, let's just go through bans and, and injuries. Shout out to transfermarkets.com for where I get all the stuff from. So, you got your boy Zlat Ibrahimovic. Why is he back? Um, Marcos Rojo, Labil, Fellaini, Michael Carrick, and Eric Bailly. I think it should for Phil Jones be on that list as well. So is United are dealing with a lot of injuries. Huge. You think that they would come here at a disadvantage. But Tottenham, um, beyond Eric Lamela and Victor Wanyama, we are hearing that Harry Kane, yes, Harry, goal machine Kane, who flops at Euro 2016. I keep on reminding people about that. The goal machine, he is not going to be playing in this game. So, um, early kickoff. It's going to be held at Old Trafford. Um, this is b b beautiful. Why is this a, 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 a beautiful thing? It's a beautiful thing because, first of all, can Tottenham play with a hurricane? A lot of um, criticism, and I think this came from Pep Guardiola, pointed towards Pochettino's team and his coaching was like, hey man, you're a one-man team. Without Harry Kane, you can't ride, you can't do anything. So this is a chance for Tottenham. This is a chance for your boy, Sean. This is a chance for your boy, Ericsson, to say, you know what? Janssen isn't involved. He's a brick. That we can see, so this is a chance for them to say, you know what, we can ride. We can operate without the so-called need of, um, what's, what's his face? Without the, the so-called need of um, Kane, Harry, Harry, Harry Kane. Kane and Abel, Kane and Abel. Good story, good story, the Bible. So, um, let's just talk tax, let us talk setups here. For Manchester United, um, you're going up against a very good defensive team. Who are very well, well drilled. So, Forget about how Harry Kane, Tottenham are very well organised and they know how to defend very well. Um, Aldo Vireld and Vertonghen are absolutely well quality defenders. I think people don't really give them enough credit. So for United, we know what Uncle Moore is going to do. So there's no point in me saying what Uncle Moore is going to do. This is what I think United should and how they should, should, should play. Let's ride with... Um, let's just try Martial and Lukaku because I, I do think that if you're going up against a very good defensive team... You have to you have to balance that out with um, an adventurous and, and an equally forceful a attack. If you're going to leave Lukaku there as a lone striker or Rashford there as a, a lone striker, it's I, th I think Lukaku is going to find it very hard to be able to maneuver and meander his way through all the Varel and Vertonghen, who are very good at marking, very good at p p p positioning. But the whole thing and people keep saying that why do you keep going about strike partnership? It's like a broken record. Screw you. That's that's the, the the first thing. Second thing, it's if you're two central defenders, it is far easier to mark a lone striker if his name is indeed a Drogba or George Ware, than it is to mark two strikers because with two strikers, that means you have um a double threat, and that means you have to now deal with different kinds of runs. It is far more difficult to navigate and watch what two guys are doing rather than one guy are doing because both of you, both of your defenders. And I have to watch what two guys are doing rather than having to realize what one guy is doing. Because yes, wingers can come into attacking areas, but Lukaku for most of the time is pretty much the only guy in there fully in that attacking area where other guys are coming in or running in there. Um, so I think I think for, for United definitely looking at the old Trafford pitch, I think it's very easy that they move the ball around. And when I say move, move, move the ball around, let's let's go, go, go forward. I think if there are two I think definitely a good shape is is is, is very important because that's, that's the thing. Against a team like this Tottenham, even if they had to have Harry Kane, you, do, you don't want to attack because these guys, they can counter. And guys, Son is underrated. Son is a really underrated striker. So this guy, he always does a job whenever he, he plays. So um, I think that, you know, personally, you know, how this is going to ride, you know, I just, I just think for United, I want to just see a slightly much more adventurous United. But when I say that, um, you, I'm not, I'm not saying Gong I'm, I'm not saying all out attack. Like they should have been far more attacking against a team like Huddersfield. Like it's in my thought, you can't be fully Gong Kong, even if you're playing at home because you're playing against one of the best teams in the Premier League and one of the best defensive teams in the league as well. But there is no harm in saying to Martial or Lukaku that you know what, 
be a bit more but more more, more direct Marshall drifting inside play closer into, into Lukaku try and do a few more one twos keep the ball on the ground and play it short play it short quick and intricate let's try and be a bit more dynamic and less predictable uh, to try and break down this very well with Tottenham defense so for in Tottenham's viewpoint you know I do think that even if without Harry Kane in there I think between Ali Ericsson and um, Son they can cause some, some issues and we cannot forget about the, the threat from the flank because United have zero threat from, from the flank because again for Valencia yeah I mean the, the I think the best kind of like right left back player on that pitch is going to be Sergio and I think Ori was going to be very very important because if Tottenham have an opening have some 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 space to exploit. I think Ori is a perfect guy to ex exploit that. And remember, Eric Bailly is a huge, massive miss. As much as as much as it is as much as it is a miss for sort with um, Harry Kane potentially, it is a just as big a miss for uh, United with Eric Bailly because United and Mourinho teams are such defensive teams. So to lose a huge central defender is massive. So with that being said, I do think that. Um, if we're now going to assume there's going to be Jones and Smalling in that central defensive area, I think for Ali and for Ericsson and for Son, move the ball around, be adventurous. I don't think the counter attack will be on. So is this not about counter because United would not, Mourinho's teams would not allow teams to counter them. But what this is all about is that I think to encourage Oria to bring the, the, the ball up forward, to tell Son that stay in that penalty box area, Oria put that ball into the area. Float that ball in, float that ball in for, for deep, and let us just see how well Smalling and Co can deal with this. But I do think that a lot of Tottenham's good work is going to happen between how Ericsson, Ali, and um, and and Son can intertwine with with, with each other. If because if they can play the, the ball around nice and quick and just find that quick through ball that finds its way past Smalling or um, Thingy, I, Smalling or um, Jones, I think that is where Tottenham will definitely cause some issues. So that being said, um, I think this is this is going to be... I was gonna say, is this, this is going to be an entertaining game because, again, because I just don't know... Because with Onkumu, I don't know, because for Onkumu, are you going to be... So I'm going to say it is going to be an entertaining game to an extent because United are playing at home. We know about Uncle Moo's tactics away from home against top six teams. But at home, he knows that, look, especially against top six teams, we have to go for three points. So I do think that he will definitely try and encourage his team to be far more attack and far more offensive. So I do think that we will see a, quite an exciting end-to-end -end game within segments. Not for the ninth minutes, but within segments, I think we do think we'll see end-to-end. -end. Um... Scoreline. I'm going to give this to, 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 to United. I'm going to give it to 2 1. To, I think United will add. I think if it is true that H, HK Hong Kong is, is missing, you know, um, I do think that will that, 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 that definitely be a serious miss. So I, I'm going to roll with a. Um, I'm going to roll with a 2 1 to United. Uncle Mu, please don't be Uncle Mu. Be friendly, Mu. Peace. Stay true. Stay black. Watch my post match analysis after the game. Subscribe to the Football Hot. Head over here and to visit the official Happy Football Hot website. Just click the link over there.